Today we are going to talk about Meta platform, ticker symbol META. Meta was formerly known as Facebook and they changed their name from Facebook to Meta because they want to invest in augmented reality, they call it Metaverse. And this investment to the augmented realities which made this stock fall like crazy. This stock is down 23.7% in last week and 30% in last month and more than 70% year to date. So that tells that just because a company is big and a company is trading at a low multiple doesn't mean that the investment is safe. Meta have a 52 week range of $353.83 to $96.38 and the current price of $99.20 gives Meta a market cap of $266 billion. So basically Meta is a company that traded around a trillion dollar market cap a year ago. Now it's down to below $300 billion. And that's why I do believe that even though it is true that timing the market is an impossible goal, but you as an investor act as you can time the market. And when people short any particular stock, they short it because they think that market is overvalued and will adjust and the stock price will fall. Meta's earning per share is $10.49. Meta is one of the company that doesn't pay any dividend and that means that people who like to capture dividend Meta will not be a good investment for them. I myself is primarily a option trader so beta is something I always keep an eye on and Meta have a beta of 1.3 so Meta does move more than the average market and that means that as an option trader, you will probably get a higher premium trading Meta than the average stock. According to TP Rank, Meta is currently a moderate buy with 23 buy recommendation and 10 hold recommendation and 4 sell recommendation and the average price target is $100.44. That will be a more than 47% increase from here. And that 47 number should tell you that you should treat this number with a grain of salt because 47% increase in a year is absolutely killing because on average market return could be 9 to 10%. The lowest analyst price target of Meta is $80 per share, 20% below the current market and the highest price target is 200 and Meta is currently trading around 100. That'll be a bit more than doubling your money from here. As I said, you have to take this number with a grain of salt. Like doubling your money is something that you should not expect in a normal market. If you look at this chart, which is from 2012 to 2022, you will see that Meta is currently trading even below 2018 level. This basically means that if you have put your money in Meta like 5 years ago, you will still be down. And that just shows that timing the market is very important even though it is true that the only way you can buy a stock at its lowest and the only way you can sell a stock at its highest is by luck. There is no skill that will allow you to do that. If we look at this chart which is from 2010 to 2022, You'll see from 2010 till first quarter of 2022, it's green, but their revenue actually started to shrink in last two quarter. And that's a concern because Meta is so big right now, it will be very hard for them to grow. Like Facebook already have 3 billion active users in that platform. And if you see that, that's almost half the population of the entire world. If you see this chart, which is from 2013 to 2022, we'll see that Meta always traded at a premium compared to the general market. Because usually technology company that is growing fast does trade at a premium and sometimes it does make sense because of the growth that they will have. But for Meta, the growth story is virtually dead and that's why they are investing so much in Metaverse.
they even changed their brand name from Facebook to Meta. And when it comes about their core business, not only that their core business does not have much growth potential anymore, actually they are facing competition from platform like TikTok. And many people believe that TikTok likely to eat away many of their content creator. And that will be a problem because Meta's core business is dependent on engagement and advertisement. Another big company that is heavily dependent on advertisement is Google. And Google will face this problem too, but Google is at a much better position compared to Meta. And only time will tell how much market share TikTok will take away from Meta and will Meta be able to come up with something that will allow them to gain more market share from TikTok. Another thing that is impacting their business is the fact that Apple changed the privacy setting of their iPhones and that is a huge issue for Meta because Meta is actually dependent on targeted advertisement. And as an investor, you should know one more thing. Even though Mark Zuckerberg does not own 50% of Meta, he does own more than 50% of the relevant shares that allows voting. In some sense, that means that he is not accountable to anyone. No one can kick him out of Meta. So basically, your bed on Meta actually is your bed on Mark Zuckerberg. Given the fact that most economists and most CEO of big companies believe that we are heading towards a recession means that one of the things that will shrink is ad spending because that's one of the things that company will use their scissors on to cut their cost. And with less ad spending, companies like Meta, Google will suffer because their revenue is almost totally dependent on ad revenue. So even if the fact that Meta does look cheap at current evaluation does not mean that you'll get a higher return anytime soon. So if you have a short time span, then Meta might not be a good investment for you. But if you have a longer horizon, I do believe that Meta have very good potential. And as an option trader, I actually do not mind holding Meta here because Meta will have good amount of option premium but with my account I can't trade Meta because buying 100 Meta share will almost be 100% of my portfolio so I can't do that. And also there are some moral reasons why I and my fiancé decided not to invest in Meta even though we might trade it sometimes. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my style of investing, then consider subscribing to my channel. If you found this video valuable, then consider like and sharing, because that helps my channel to grow. See you next time.